The danger you left on me by saying that, see, people don't know you can't play with my life like this. I tread your life too much for you to come say I stamped the first only crib. You gonna get me killed out here, homie. You hear me? Um, they still out here. You gonna get me killed out here. You, you doing it for the views. You doing it for the script. You doing it for the Adam 12s and the jumpers and the shit like that. Nigga, I'm doing it to live. Nigga. You doing it to get me killed. You gonna get me killed out. Say, y'all clean that up, homie. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. Yes, it was. But let me show you. That's a, that's the way that episode should have went down there in Cali with um C-Mac and um, Brick Baby when they was talking to Weirich. Yes. They, don't, they, don't worry about it. We're going to play chess today, boss. We're going to play chess today. Yeah, because yeah. they, they, nah, nah, they yeah. embraced it. Now, let me get, let's flip the script. Right here on Boss Talk 101. They they did embrace it. Right here on Boss Talk 101. I know where you're going with that. I know it. I, I know, know where you're going with that. I know it because the real going to stand out at all times. You want to know where we're going? I know where he going. They sit there and let that man say things that they know didn't evolve cripping, didn't evolve around cripping. But watch this. And what uh, you against, against a gate? Against something that, went, that, that stood up and flat and flossed in their face? Uh, I sit right here at your show with a big old Cali Crip that sit right there and I told him in his face, that ain't what you is. Mm. That ain't what you is, nigga. That ain't what you is, nigga. Melvin had to get a hold of the thing. Nah, nigga, this nigga ain't no crip. Didn't I say it? What? Yeah, you did. Hold on. Yeah, Stop. I, got the, I got the brain back. Stop. Yeah, I, I know, you know it. I'm I know it. it back. I know it. I know it. Because it got gangster. <laughs> it got gangster. Right here in this. Right, nigga, you ain't no crip, nigga. That nigga said, what, 6'4? Six, 6'5? Four, six, you ain't see no hoe in me. Them niggas sit there and let that man be a hoe in front of them. They didn't call it that. You dig what I'm saying? He, he when I seen Crippin that wasn't Crippin, I called it that. They seen Crippin that wasn't Crippin didn't say nothing. They in the state of California. That's what then everybody say I stamped him. I can't stab him. I'm from East Side of Fort Worth. He from the South Side. Um, that was just a, a play made on me. Um, shout out to the playmaker. Um, wow. You know who the playmaker is? <laughs> <laughs> you don't play with me. Y'all, y'all play shout out to the playmaker. Man, y'all, y'all play with the playmaker. <laughs> Y'all, y'all, y'all play with the play. I don't, I, you, don't, you, don't you, you, worry you about it. Don't play worry play. about it. Don't even yeah. worry about it. <laughs> no. Say, say you got a good husband. <laughs> I'm talking about 360. 360. All the way around. You can't miss. You know. I, I no. Know. Listen, I'm going to be real with you, Go man. Ahead. When you when, when you think about how he went up there, and he's been back. He just went back to No Jump. I see him I in the I think he's going to be a co-host. Mm. I see him in the pit. I think he ended up being a, I, th- I really think they're going to bring him on as a co-host. Well, can I tell you what? They're going to end up, because they're going to ride with that. that what was his title now? What was, he, what was he claiming now? To be a what? What Was it still, it wasn't a grip no more? A comedian. He changed it. I told him over here he was a comedian. comedian. Come on, get it right. But I told him here, I said, you were right. really a comedian. I did, didn't I? But, but you really mm-hmm. anything somebody that. tell you, because you don't even know what you is as a man. So he called him a comedian now. Oh, that was Adam Jumper? That was Jumper? That was Adam Jumper? They, they, they about to bring yeah, him Yeah, we, we got to get that out of there. Because if you don't take that out, you're going to get that man killed. Mm. That's think, number one. I think mm. they feel like they're all over there. I hear a lot of people in the comments there. say that. A lot of people in the comments be saying that. There's too many dead people in the ground for you to play with that that, that type of stuff. See, people running around here, I wouldn't even host nothing to say, man, come on, man, you're bringing heat. It's tough. You, you, can't, you can't kill me, y'all, because people know I didn't do it. They know the real from the fake. But you playing with this crib and there's too many dead homies in the ground behind this, homie. Wow. It's too many niggas that lost their lives. It's too many niggas doing hundreds and thousands of years behind this gang shit. And you out here playing, playing with it now? Now, now, the game, now the game got so, they already spitting on dead graves. They already talking about the dead. They already smoking them in blunts. Now they playing with the gang. Wow, so. But yeah, I would think that sometimes in this society where things have gotten so out of hand, you understand mm-hmm. what I mean? Right. Even with social media, it's not who is good at this, it's who can go the furthest with this. That part. You understand what I mean? That's so it. So in it. life, because it's like that, do you think that, because some people f- will feel like, where does he even have the gall to even hmm. do that? Um, my, my but because of the generation uh, we're in, it's become more acceptable. What? No, no, because you know, uh, people know how to throw rocks and hide their head. That's what it's called. Okay. Hello. Believe okay. me, them guys don't got see the, the the danger you left on me by saying that. See, people don't know you can't play with my life like that. I tread your life too much for you to come say I stamped the first openly gay crib. You gonna get me killed out here, homie. You hear me? Um, they still out here. You gonna get me killed out here. You you doing it for the views. You doing it for the script. You doing it for the Adam 12s and the jumpers and the shit like that, nigga. I'm doing it to live, nigga. You doing it to get me killed. You gonna get me killed out. Say, y'all clean that up, homie. Y'all go clean it. Don't do that. Don't play with that like that. I don't play with that like that. 
It's too many niggas and died behind that. You know, you got people still getting kicked oh, over the gang. And I'm sitting there saying, he announced the first open the gate. You gonna get me killed out here. I gotta walk with cause you did what, cuz? Cause you know what? That destroys the name. That that takes the image. Uh, you, who gonna let one person destroy a whole image of Crippin? Nobody. LA. Let's go. I, Come I on, know man. it was Fig Munity, I believe I seen you. I had, seen him. You had I said had, something yeah. back, you had to address that. What was uh. up with that? Cause you know, them my now now A D is my boy. I never okay. met T Rail them. What I know Brick <laughs> Baby was the one over at A Adam Twenty Two. How right. did Fig Munity even get um, in the picture? I heard Fig Munity doing an interview with some gangster crip out of there and um he just happened to just I'm like they said, man, you was on the Fig. I said, what the hell is the feed? <laughs> That's my boy. Uh, AD, AD is community. Right, right, right. I just said you was on the feed, so I go check the feed out. Um, I'm listening to him. I see. I said, you must be a bunch of crib niggas. I see. I see everybody sitting around. Around. I'm peeping the stilo. Then somebody come on that they getting into it with on on the internet. I guess he's talking. He yeah, said, they talk on the thing. And then too. he busts out and said, OG person. I said, okay, okay. okay. <laughs> And then when it wasn't good, they can't, ain't no such thing as no motherfucking Five Dudes Hoover Crip Gang. Letting you know that right now, ain't no such thing as no motherfucking Five Dudes Hoover Crip Gang. Well, my thing, him nigga, come down here and see. If you think it ain't, nigga. I know a whole South Side full of them. You hear me? Come down here and see. One thing about this Crip Gang shit, I don't give a fuck about no gang banging. Mm -hmm. That's number one. Uh, I did that when I was a child. Uh, at 52, I put away my childish things. Hello! It just took me a while to grow up. Don't worry. Uh, I said 52 because that's what I encourage every crip that's banging five dudes to live to see, if you can do that. Wow. That's now, big. I said it again. I said live to see, <laughs> if you can do that. Bars. Uh, I'm nice with this, man. Uh, when you change, you change completely. Uh. But the kid, when you change, uh, a lot of things come your way. You got to fight a, a fight that you can't see. It's called spiritual warfare. I talk about it all the time, fighting the unseen. As uh, soon as I decided to change my life, niggas killed my brother off. Uh, something they wouldn't have dared even thought about doing if I hadn't changed. You wow. hear me? Yeah. Because any name came up was going to, you know, you know, but say, but God took it. You know, it's a certain time that you know that you can make moves. And I'm like, God damn, why didn't you do this shit again? My hands tied, but my hands ain't tied. Hello. Yeah, yeah. I, I want to yeah, ask you about your, your your son. Your son locked up. What son? You have a son that. He's rapped. like which one? I heard you had a son that rapped is locked up. Oh yeah, I got that's PMG guy. That's him. The guy. Mm -hmm. That's him. They said uh -huh. that boy had flow too. They they said that boy can rap. What? The truth. The it truth. He, how, how's uh -huh. he doing? Uh, he's doing great. He's doing his time. He's doing his time. He go. He got. He got to sit there. Uh, it don't take long to learn what Daddy told you. Uh, just like it didn't take long for me to learn what my daddy told me. Uh, the thing about it, I got it before he left her. I got it. I got a chance to get it before he left. Uh, I hope my sons do the same thing, get it before I leave. How old were you when your father passed? Uh, dad, when daddy died, about like two two years ago, three years, you know, been some time. So you had a long time with him. Oh, I live with my dad. I'm a daddy baby. Mm. <laughs> I'm a daddy baby. Mm -hmm. I stay up under my daddy like kids stay up under their mama titty. I'm staying up under my daddy. I was a daddy baby. Uh, for me to lose my daddy and my brother, uh, it, it, it was a, it's a journey. It's a process. That was close together too. And what, and I, I shit hell. I was still crying for daddy. Yeah. Yeah. Then my dog died. The dog died. Power too. died. Power. <laughs> I like damn. God. Now come on now. God damn God. Everything. Uh, Joe. Hello. Don't worry to about it. To make you stronger. Boy, don't, worry, don't quit playing boy, with me, boss. What you know about that? Pop, pop, quit playing with me on this favor, man. He be reading. He be now, reading. Now I'll never read. I want to read. I told you I had to live it. Mm. That's why I am the true testament. You read the New Testament, you read the Old Testament. I am the true testament. What's the difference? I'm a living Bible. That's hard. I'm going to let y'all soak in there for a minute. One thing about the Bible, it ain't nothing but a good, bunch of good stories in there that's going to save somebody's life. Well, one about the thing about the True Testament, I'm just a good story that might just save somebody live. Yeah. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.